Well, hello. Here's the Drake R4C that I picked up for a fairly good deal off of eBay. The seller said it didn't, it had a frequency issue with how the frequency was determined. Anyway, I checked the, um, the PTO and this thing had output as per usual. Seems stable. The uh, SSB crystal under here had output and the uh, crystal bank underneath had output. So it all kind of led to this premixer tube here, which was bad. So replace that and this thing came to life. It works pretty good. So this might be the best TX T4X that I have. I have a T4XB. It's a lot more beat up than this one. This thing is uh, pretty good. It doesn't have the copper chassis, but it's uh, it's nice. So maybe this will become the uh, the main transmitter. Anyway, they changed the plug from an old old company plug to a, re a regular stereo plug, which makes it hard for me to use my uh, mic, but. Ah, it works. So, pretty happy with this. There's no hum. I guess the cap is working. It seems like a pretty good transmitter. So, I haven't checked the output yet, but it seems like it's there. The PTO is fairly okay. I didn't look at it to see how grimy it looked. Let's take a look at that. And... Doesn't look like it has much oil in it. Okay, so I can grease that thing up. But yep, yeah, it's a whole different rig than the TX4B. They have the graduations now. Instead of on the dial, they're on the uh, they're on the indicator here, which is pretty neat. I think this thing's about three kcs off, but maybe not. It's got some. Uh, crummy dirt all over it from sitting. I was surprised the uh, chassis was okay. So this thing ought to clean up pretty good. And maybe someday I can use it on AM or something and mess around with it. The whole fun with these to me is fixing them. There's really not much opportunity for me to uh, get on the air and use them because I don't have an antenna yet. Anyway. Let's show you the bottom of this thing. I should turn it off before I get killed. Yeah, one of these, I bought two of these. One of them, I bought a, um, T, a T4XC also, which is sitting around here. The T4XC is in a box over there. Um, that one, they say, blows the power supply. I thought this one blew the power supply fuse, so I was... Looking for shorts for half an hour in the sink, couldn't find these shorts. I plugged it in and said, well, didn't blow the power supply. I only have one power supply for these, one uh, AC4, which I worked very hard to restore, so I don't want to blow it up. Anyway, yeah, these are different. They, they've, been, they've made some odd adjustments on the switch here, so they have a little, little switch for the meter that's now in the uh, knob here. So this center knob thing is gone. So that is funny, and it's funny how it maintains rotation through that little coupling there. And let's see, I think there's a change here too. One of these knobs, the pull knob. And they changed the on-off switch to a less fragile switch, so that was pretty cool. They made a few changes. This all looks the same over here. The RF deck's a little different too. So this is the last of the Drake tube rigs, which was a, uh, a TX4C. So down here, you can see I was still probing for RF. So there's the crystal bank there. That's all the same. Nice shiny crystals. The switches are kind of gunked up, but they're working. Here's a cool thing. This switch looks like it's been really improved. Look at the die cast custom die cast here it looks like and the on off switch is now kind of just tacked on there the whole thing is loose but as you can see it, it kind of is loose but 
And then they made a change to the 90 degree transmission thing. That's all been improved. They put that on the circuit card. And they put a coupling there. I guess you can decouple it to take it out, which is good. And this, I guess, is kind of the same. Looks like they're using different switch waivers. So this whole thing went through a redesign, TX4B to TX4C. And then they have a lot of little circuit cards in here now, which they didn't before. So I don't know if anything new is packed in these cards. I guess the, diagram, the schematics been changed somewhat. Oh yeah, and this has been changed. So the uh, cage has a whole different tank circuit here. So that looks greatly simplified. And they move the relay down here. So yeah, the TX4C looks like a, a nice rig. Had some modifications to it. So maybe this will end up being the favorite one. I like it. It's fun to kind of go through these things and figure out the different generations and what changed, what's different, what's the same. A lot of fun, actually. This one didn't take much work. I'm not so sure it's tuned well. I still want to go through and kind of clean it to get it towards museum quality, but I don't think it needs much, really. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, the transmit came right up sideband keyed right up so I don't think this one's seen a lot of use it's not all faded I like how the filter here looks like it's all clean and nice another one of those uh, little switches they put in down here which is down there that's a whole new thing looks like the uh, slug rack is the same as it's always been which is very dependable so I'm okay with the slug rack the funny thing is the uh, TR7 down here in the floor, I've been mucking around with, you don't have to tune that thing at all. There's no, no slug rack in it, so that's really interesting on that rig. So, yep, I've been doing my historical traipsing through the Drake Forest. All right, well, hopefully this entertained you a bit. I gotta stop buying Drakes because I got room for them, but it's a bad habit. It's a real bad habit. Yeah, I'm really happy. This radio is just almost museum quality. I gotta clean it up a little bit, but not much. Looks like the person wasn't a smoker, which is nice. Some nice ham had it, but didn't smoke. So that's about it. Now I'm gonna try and fix the uh, the uh, T4, the TR4C, which apparently the guy said it blows out the power supply. So I bought this from the same gentleman, and he was accurate on this one's problems and I'm sure the other one blows up the power supply so hey fun times this one even has the uh, blue still in here it's pretty cool all right well thanks for watching have a great day